All right, Aziz. I'm sure you're wondering why you're Chief. over here. A little bit. I think I might have a little idea as to why. Uh, well, we'll start with uh, with the du'a because we don't know your status right now. Okay, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Allahumma abad min nashar. We, we're still roommates after this, right? You're not kicking me out. No, we're still roommates. Don't worry. Don't oh, okay. worry. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Well, brought um Bison and Bunty. That way, there's no bias uh, towards you, so we can right. sit here and listen as well. Okay. All right, Aziz. So go ahead and explain what happened with Den, with GSF and the BBMC. I don't know why everyone keeps asking me about the GSF thing. I wasn't there for that. I wasn't around. I wasn't on duty. I came on duty. Yo, Sean Wilson, thank you to $15. Oh, my God. A $50 donation. I'll, th I'll reach I, you I don't really have no this. Idea. I do, I do apologize. It was, a, it was a show of force that went south or some shit like that. I read the reports. So I really, I really don't know what happened with that. But the Bondi boys, I was there for that. Okay. Tell us about that one then. All right. Well, we were near the house. All right, he picked me up. We were talking a little bit, and then there was these two people who needed a ride. Uh, we decided to give them a ride. Uh, again, hindsight, I understand there was a lot of mistakes that we did here that could have been avoided. I'd only been away for about 20, 30 minutes, but it shouldn't, you know, excuse what happened. They requested the ride, we pulled up. They got out of the vehicle, and then as we were driving off, we saw them, or one of the Bondi boys approached them, and they ended up stabbing him. At that point, I jumped out of how my they, car. How did they enter your car? They were given a ride. They got into the. They got into Who the was car. driving the car? It was a dense car. Oh my god! It was in the passenger. Okay, and why? Oh. Why were you in uh, the Australian barrio down there exactly? Well, we live pretty close to it by my house. When Ben got me, when he picked me up, we were talking. And then those two came up to us, asked for a ride. We were near like. What I said, burger shot near over there, right across the street. And they requested a ride just a little bit south of us towards the beach. And then we dropped them off across Were the street. Were you aware that the Bandai boys and BBMC, sorry, the Bandai boys and Mandem at war? I was made aware of that, yes. So you knew that you're bringing another gang member into the territory of another gang that were beefing? Well, no, I was made aware of this after the entire ordeal that happened. As he is, be honest, Ahl of Allah. Wallah, what are you asking me here? That I do? Yeah, well, I did know. I did know. Okay, so you knew that. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, and then when I saw him stab him, you know, I got out of the car and I was going to try to put a stop to all of that <laughs> because, you know, I saw... I saw a lot of shit go down, and I was like, okay, that's not right. So I had to get out and try to do my police duty. Saying Ahlif is basically and, swear uh, on God, which is something that's very serious for anybody who's, um, well. you know, religious. So it's almost like a, it's almost like a power gaming move, that almost. Absolutely not the because they can't lie. Absolutely. If they do lie, they're getting so sent. I didn't have any intention of anyone getting hurt. I was drinking my coffee. I was waking up. Two people in the car. We were driving them. What did Den tell you when he picked you up? He said, Assalamu alaikum. Mm -hmm. me up. I said, what's up, brother? How you doing? Long time. Mm -hmm. We talked about some shit. Chit chat, the usual. Okay, Nothing so let's specific. go back to where uh, those two got out and stabbed. Who was it? Who did they stab? Was it a Bandai boy? <sighs> I think so, yeah. Somebody wearing a cut. Okay, and then what happened afterwards? I got out. I got out of the car. I, we were driving, and then I got out when I saw it. Then kept driving, and then I ended up getting hit by another car, and then Class 2 fire shot me in the ass cheek, and I went there. Now, what happened afterwards? Davis okay. Biddy. I need a uh, subpoena. After I got shot in the ass cheek? I can't right now. I'll call you God back. damn it! I got him right here. You just need to sign it, bro. Send it, send it, send it, send it. All right. You're going to... God. Okay, and uh, was any commentary made during the interaction that you had with the individuals in the cut? Hey, no, Captain, I don't recall any, but after having a conversation with Claire yesterday, she said something was said, and I don't, I honest to God don't remember anything being said. She said something about a gift. I don't remember this. Uh, 
I had no part if there was a gift or any shit like that. I don't want to be involved in this. I, I had no intentions. I didn't know. Okay, I've got a I've got a question. Den, uh, what, what's his rank? Den? Mm, Chasty. He's a deputy. He's a deputy. What's your rank again, Aziz? Senior officer, sir. Okay, so when a regular deputy tries Damn to allow Aziz, two Aziz, to Aziz, enter, Aziz. Enter the back of a police vehicle to give them a courtesy ride without doing any kind of search and you know failing to follow several protocols that we have in place, why didn't you correct that? I honestly get no mistake, right? A complete mistake, but no, no answer to that. I just got in on duty. I was still waking up. Yeah, there's no excuse. I didn't do my due diligence there. My apologies. Okay, let's talk about the GSF incident. He wasn't present for that. Sir. Oh, he was not? Okay, you were not. So no, you, you, you only came in for the BB... conversation. You only came into the BBMC incident? I thought... Okay, gotcha, okay. Let me show sure. So all you guys were doing is just giving him a ride down to... Well, so, okay, hold on a second. Let's go back to when they entered the, the, the car, right? It was you, uh, Den, and then who else was inside the car? It was just me and Den, and then the two the individuals. And who were they? Batar and uh, I forget the, the other one's name. Okay, so where did Patar and the other guy get dropped off? Where exactly? If, like, use the Bill and Bong as, like, a landmark. Uh, let me look at my GPS. Chow, I'm looking at the feedback right now. Bay City, on Bay City. Can't remember exactly where. I was eventually, when I got shot in the ass cheek, I was down by, like, Rub Street. Yeah, I was down by Rub Street, I guess. When I got shot. So, somewhere in the area, they got out, they walked over, ended up stabbing him. And then I got out, trying to stop what was about to go down, or, you know, try to interfere before it went out. I was too late. Then started driving. I got hit by a few cars. I think my ankle, you know, is fractured a little is bit. Is there a big uh, bay in your channel? I used to speak from time to time. Okay. And then when you went, when you went down, um, what happened afterwards? Uh, what happened afterwards? I was hearing them on the radio, the earpiece. Nothing really. I think they... You brought up the pillbox medical or you, um, were you in the bed for the rest of the night? Oh, they took me to Viceroy. Wait, did you stay in Viceroy overnight, or what happened afterwards? I went home after that. Okay, so you went home. I went to the hospital, yeah. Honestly, Aziz's instance is not that bad. Okay, Bison, Bun, do you have any questions for Aziz before we dismiss him for a little bit? Okay, uh, give us five minutes, Aziz. All right, sounds good. Don't go anywhere. Just uh, go by like um, the bookshelf. Yes, yes, sir. I mean, okay. So Aziz definitely fucked up with Den bringing those two guys down to the below bunk. But I don't think his case is bad as Den, though. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. He was with Den before those individuals got picked up. Um, I think that him saying he has no recollection of any statements being made is probably just a CYA, especially considering that uh, both of these individuals, uh, or at the very least, Din in his initial statement from what I'm reading that uh, Lieutenant May wrote, uh, denied that those individuals were even present in the first place. Uh, I think most of what we just heard was CYA. Okay, what do you think is a fair punishment from? Why is Bundy saying CYA? Uh, what Shiesty received was a five. Oh, let me review this. Actually, hold on. Is that a meme I'm missing? It's weird because she she recommended five days for every officer that went into the ICU, which would have been twenty five by my count. Twenty five days. Yeah, but it looks like she only gave five. But then, um, like, she later assuming... said she only gave five. Yeah, so I'm kind of. Yeah. 
I mean, realistically... <laughs> I mean, you said yourself that suspension is... Five days suspension. Working. I mean, Dennis is not going to learn anything from this. He's going back five days like nothing happened. Uh, I, I mean... Honestly... Wasn't, wasn't Aziz only made a senior like four days ago? He was. It's either we demote him or take his interceptor start. His interceptor start has nothing to do with this, to be honest. Yeah, that's the whole thing, though. People are not going to learn um, exactly uh, between the, between the right or wrong unless you actually oh, yeah, take oh, yeah, something yeah, yeah, away yeah. from him. I, I agree, but I think it should also like make sense why we're taking it, right? Like, if we're going to... Like, if... Uh, let's say they had, like, rammed a car into a wall and, like, blew it up just because they thought it was funny, then I'd take the cert. Because it has to do with the, it would have to do with him driving an interceptor. Right, but right. But like, he loves the interceptor, so I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to punish officers without really affecting their ability to actually do police work, right? So that way they can learn. Because I'm a firm believer, suspensions just don't get the job done anymore. People take this time off and come back. So how do we get I mean, the point all, across? In my honest opinion, um, I'm good with either. Um, either because uh, it's your guys' department, you guys can do whatever you wish. Uh, but in all honesty, uh, there's always been this like silent rule of there's a buffer period or like there's a probation period after you get promoted. And if you somehow like fail that probation period and we feel like, you know, all right, you weren't ready after all, then you need to go back until you're ready again. Hang on. Hello. Um, yeah. Given the fact that okay, yeah, uh, my way. I think given a demotion the might be but... the driver yeah, here and the primary actor as these as primary culpability comes in the fact that he was with him, did not correct his actions either as an equal or a senior officer. Yeah, I, I think maybe a demotion uh, here and then and then if he tries to do better we can bring him back as a senior, but for now probably going yeah, back would, to an officer. I, I would say a demotion and then a lighter suspension than what Den faced. No, I, I'm um, not doing suspension and demotion either. You're, one or you're not doing one, one or the other. Yeah. I, I would I, then I would say the motion's appropriate here. Yep. I was gonna say they're on traffic. Dude. I hope like, um I hope Sergeant Apollo does not take this the wrong way, man. Don and tell him to slap shit up for inbound. I hope Sergeant Apollo does not take this the wrong way. And Anybody who likes driving an interceptor or a golf cart is gonna fucking hurt. Into it as soon as this yep. Like bring him back over here. I see. Start on. Hey, Chief, am I interrupting? No, it's just yes. Plane. Yes, you are. Okay. I'll... You're very loud, Michael. I don't know why. You're very loud. I was yelling to the I've got no goddamn patience. Yeah, 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 that's no worries. Do you you care too much about the feelings? I care about not losing point, officers but... that I have in the PD. That's what I care about. Take a ticket. We need a ticket system, Chief. Yes, we do. Now serving meeting number five. Aziz. Chief. You're one of the Habibis. I appreciate you a lot. You've been um, helping out a lot within the PD, but uh, sometimes we make mistakes, and those mistakes are our best teachers out there when it comes to any lessons we learn in life. And I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but after speaking with everybody and conducting our investigation regarding the status of what happened down with the bill and bong, and I mean five officers go to ICU, which is a big deal in my opinion. I mean, five officers got shot because of some fuckery took down place in. The bill and bond, which should not be happening, okay? And I kept preaching on officer safety and making sure that we do our due diligence to make sure that people are not getting hurt and everybody can go back home. Now, you were able to go back home, luckily. However, five officers are stuck in the ICU right now, um, battling for their life. And um, as somebody who is a superior officer in the whole incident with Denton in that car, I do hold you to a higher standard, okay? And I expect better out of you. Is I promoted uh, you. Uh, uh, Bass. What? As you step out for one second. Just one second. Sure. Yeah, the, uh, the people going in ICU. That was the GSF situation. That was one he wasn't a part of. No, 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 no. No, the, I thought yeah, it was BBM. I, I, I thought it was BBM. Right right I'm it reading it right now. Plus, when the ICU after the, sh the GSF shoot, I'm reading Anita's it thing right now. It started with a GSF shit. Okay, so the people yeah, the retaliation again after because this this says that she it happened during the GSF thing. Did the ICU thing happen before or no? So GSF? BBMC kidnapped uh, Manda members to pick up truck and then open fire on police and threw an explosive. Anita said five officers went to the ICU for what Din and Aziz did. So I presume that is this situation. 
Yeah, I rolled up for emergency contacts after, and they were all bucked up with shrapnel from an explosion. Okay, so this is after the GSF stuff, just to yes. be sure. Okay. Yes. Right. Sorry about that, Bass. So we're good? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah sorry. Right. I see Stalin inside. Yalla, Talon. What he said. Fuck, McNulty 142, god damn it. Alright. Aziz. Yes, like sir. I was saying, okay? I want you to learn from this. And like I said, one incident or um, one uh, moment should not define a police officer. As somebody who's been punished many times in the past and went through the roller coaster of being inside the police department, I can relate a little bit to what's happening here. So I want you to take a look at Champ and learn from it. But based on what happened and all the facts and evidence presented to us today, and the fact that I promoted you a senior officer five days ago, I'll be honest, I'm a bit disappointed. So with that being said, instead of trying to suspend you here for what happened, and I don't think um, suspension is the right move, because you were fresh off your promotion and what happened with Den and your superior officer, we're going to bring you down to an officer until you can show otherwise and show that you've learned from this mistake and improved. And then from there, you can go back to senior. So as of today, you are being de demoted down to an officer. Okay. All right. I hope you learn from this. If you have any questions, time is now. And I don't want you to take this as, um, you know, like we don't believe in you or this is forever. You're stuck as an officer. No, I think this is something you can grow from and um, come back twice as stronger and learn from it. Yeah, I, I agree. It was a mistake. And like you're saying, wow. I'll take the I fucked up. I'll own up. Well, I appreciate your honesty and you owning up to it, man. That speaks as to me, to me especially, that means a lot. That, that speaks a lot about who you are, Aziz, and I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Yeah, I want to uh, I want to say I think that with time, you're certainly going to be able to uh, earn those stripes back, Aziz. Um, I was extremely disappointed to hear about what had transpired yesterday, um, mostly because of how rock solid you are to work with in the field. Uh, you were always reliable. Uh, when 77s are requested, you were always the person who shows up. You're always the person who stays behind uh, when that's necessary. Um, but the fact that such basic protocols, like up until the end of what transpired, I mean, uh, let's be honest, you went 42 without properly even reporting this uh, to the individuals who were looking into it last night. Um, so, you know, I I'm extremely disappointed in those actions, uh, but I want to see you buckle down and be the officer that you were when we considered your promotion initially, okay? Yes, Captain. Absolutely, Aziz. And won't, let the, won't let it happen again. Good. I mean, that's all I can ask from. You. Just don't make the same mistake twice and learn from it. That's all I can ask from you. And I know, um, I know you pretty well. Uh, you know, we go, we go way back. I'm a firm believer you're gonna bounce back from this. You're a very resilient dude. So I'm rooting for you. I can't wait to see what you do with this. All right. I'm gonna go respond to that 1090. If that's all from you guys. Bison. Oh, yeah. go, go get him, Sultan. Um, Heart Castle, anything else you guys want to add? Uh, not nope. from my side, no. All right. Thank you all. All right, I'll see you guys. I love you. Ma'asalamin.